Saw me for the next I don't know how long I'm about to get up in this bad boy Let's see if I can god damn thing too freaking big Let's see if I can okay it's not disgustingly dirty that's great I was expecting this place to be filthy Ugh. anyways what y'all up to <laughs> I'm just over here trying to figure it out Woo. Yo, this is scary. It's loud. How do I? Okay. Is this supposed to sound like this? I can't even reach the pedal. This is a nightmare. <laughs> this is big as hell. This is big as hell. Okay, at least it's not filthy, so I'll be able to put my baby in here. I'm so nervous. Let me get this together. And I'm going to talk to y'all about the fact that I'm driving a big old U-Haul myself when I get back to my house, okay? Okay, guys, I'm back in my house after <laughs> whipping that U-Haul while I was whipping it. Um, let me show you guys around what it's looking like. Because I don't think y'all saw my apartment before I started packing up, but this is the chaos of the packing process. Um... I still got some open boxes. I don't know if y'all can see what's behind me. I still got some open boxes, but those are about to get closed right now. I was just making sure everything was in them. Um, this is my bedroom. <sighs> I forget what that is. Oh, that's my bedding that I was like using last night. I went ahead and boxed it up. That's my new comforter that I washed. Everything's already taken apart. I covered up my mattress with a mattress protector. That's closed and I taped it shut so the drawers wouldn't come out. This is where I was keeping my shoes, but now all my shoes are in these massive lawn and leaf bags. Oh, God. Okay. Which I labeled shoes. This is how I do my clothes. I don't know if y'all ever saw this clothing hack, but I got this from Jayla Corian. She's a YouTuber that I really like, a vlogger, um, like, years ago when she was in college. Like, she seemed to move, like, all the time when she was in college, like, from dorm to dorm to apartment type situation. And she always did this with her clothes. Only difference I'm doing this time is that I'm going to put another bag on the bottom of them and um, like make sure it's secure with tape and stuff. Like I'm basically double bagging that. This is my second bedroom that I basically used as a storage bedroom. I have someone coming today to buy this because this isn't this never fit my decor style. I used it in my room for a while and it was very comfortable and I like it, but like it just doesn't fit my decor style at all. Um, and it's kind of youthful and like it's not something I use. This is a lot of my dog stuff. It's some outside stuff. And yeah, the living room is the most chaotic because I moved everything in here. Boxes, boxes. Beanie, he's so upset. He's like, what in the hell is going on? Okay, see? Oh, and I couldn't get my stripper pole to come apart. So <laughs> they're just going to have to move it just like that. This is my sofa. I took the cushions off and I wrapped them up in tarp. Oh, here's another hack. Let me show y'all the tarp I used. This is $1 drop cloth from Dollar General. $1. Obviously, everything's going up in price now, but it is huge. Let me see. What are the dimensions? 108 square feet. So I basically used that instead of buying all that moving plastic and stuff. I used that and wrapped up my stuff with tape and stuff versus buying all the moving stuff because it's so much more expensive doing it that way, buying things that are specific to moving. So anyways, let me talk to y'all real quick. <laughs> this is, I'm cleaning. I'm doing the last minute cleaning. i um, about to do the bathroom in the kitchen and then I'll be pretty much done um, until I have to vacuum and mop. But uh, yeah. I'm super excited. This is the biggest move I have done thus far. Um, anywhere I've moved before was within like, it was all within 20 minutes of my mom's house. So I've never moved that far away. So now I'm moving almost two hours away from my hometown, which still isn't majorly like far away. Like I'm not leaving the state or anything, but it is a significant move, whether you believe it or not. Like I will be in a city by myself having to rely only on myself i will no longer be able to do grocery trips to my mom's house <laughs> like i won't be able to grocery shop in my mom's pantry i won't be able to say oh i don't want to cook dinner tonight let me go to my mom's house like 
If I get a flat tire, I gotta call AAA, like, because I don't know anybody there. Um, yeah, I gotta handle everything myself, myself, myself. So I'm super nervous, but I'm very excited. Like, I was very nervous yesterday before I went and saw my apartment because I was like, I've been burned with apartments before. Y'all already know. We already have that story um, out there in a the video. But um, yeah, I was super nervous, but I finally went to see the apartment and the complex itself, like the, yeah, the apartment complex is really nice. Management seemed nice, but of course they always seem nice when we first start out. So we're gonna see if it sticks to that. Um, yeah, my apartment's clean. Like that's just something I cannot stress enough. I'm just happy my apartment is clean. Like y'all see this apartment now and y'all probably like, oh, that's a blessing. Like it's really nice, blah, blah, blah. It is a blessing. It is very nice, uh, but it's standard. And like I said, and I think my first video that I mentioned that I was moving in, I was like, okay, but every time my neighbors cook or smoke or they don't clean their house and they let their dog pee all over the place and that, I can smell it through the walls. Like I come home after cleaning vigorously and it still stinks because they stink. But let me go ahead and finish cleaning my, cleaning my bathroom and stop chit chatting because my movers are coming at um, 12. They said they're coming at 12. Well, I ordered them. <laughs> I ordered them to come. The help is coming <laughs> at 12. Um, and it's about 11.30 right now. So, yeah. I need to go ahead and finish cleaning up so that whenever the movers come, things can just flow smoothly, proficiently. Nobody's confused or nothing like that. So, I'll see y'all in a second. Okay, y'all. Uh, I'm really not in the mood to be doing this right now, but I'm going to do it just real quick. This is just for before and after purposes. Beanie hates this right now. But yeah, y'all remember all that junk that was in here? Or not junk, it was my stuff, but it was all moved to the front out of all the closets and stuff, so it looked junky. Every, ooh, let me actually check behind the door. Okay. Everything is out. Everything. Oh, I flipped the breaker already, so I can't show y'all <laughs> the rooms that, you know, don't have windows, but. This is my room. And now I'm about to leave y'all. I'm so tired. I've been literally working since about 10 a.m. and it's about four now. Um, and obviously the days before this, I've been packing, 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 working, working, working for days. Thank God I hired movers. Any advice I could give to someone that's moving is just to hire movers, like save up so you can afford to hire movers because this is no joke. Um, I basically did all the packing and stuff like 95% myself, but when it came to like loading stuff on the truck, the movers did it. And then maybe like they left a good 5% of stuff left for us to do because they were just like, oh, it's so fragile. We don't want to do it, blah, blah. But yeah, I'm so tired. I'm not in the mood for anything right now. I'm starving. Beanie's upset and I still have to drive <laughs> an hour and 45 minutes up the road in that big old U-Haul and get to my new place and hopefully get a little bit settled. So whenever I get the chance to, I'm gonna hop back on here. I'm in the mood because I'm tired and I'm hungry. Okay guys, it is 9.17 p.m. I have been up and moving since 7 a.m. Um, packing, cleaning, turning in keys, going to work to turn in those keys, send my last email, submit my time and payroll and all that stuff. I've been loading up the truck, unloading the truck. I've done everything but eat and sit down. Literally me laying on the floor right now is the first time I've sat down all day since 7 a.m. And I am not even exaggerating and I didn't even realize it until I just now thought about it. Oh, well, I mean, I had to drive here. So I guess in two hours I was sitting down, but like I was driving in the heat, you know, in a freaking U-Haul, worried about if I'm in my lane. So anyways, I actually unloaded like, I'd say like a seventh. Yeah, I unloaded like a seventh 
of the U-Haul. Like all the last minute little small things that we put on the U-Haul, me and my mom. Um, I went ahead and took all that out so that when the movers come tomorrow, I can get my whole two hours that I ordered just for them to get the big stuff. Like they can spend two hours getting the big stuff and make sure they get everything because after tomorrow i'm done with the u-haul i want to turn it in tomorrow like i'm supposed to have it until sunday but i'm turning it in tomorrow if i can saturday <sighs> so I'm, I'm about to i'm debating on if i want to shower and then go get something to eat because i'm thinking i'm gonna just go run and get like canes or something so i'm debating on if i want to shower and then get something to eat or if i want to go get something to eat go you know back out on the streets eat my food and then shower and get comfortable but yeah i have no wi-fi so like i can't play movies and stuff right now i mean i have a hot spot so i guess i could play movies tonight while i have my hot spot um i'm supposed to have wi-fi within like one or two days that's what the email i got today from at&t said anyways Oh, I can't wait to have Wi-Fi again. I haven't had Wi-Fi in like five days. <laughs> oh, by the way, Beanie is on the air mattress instead of me. By the way, shout out to my mom. She's awesome. She went and bought this like self-inflatable air mattress for me so that I wouldn't have to sleep on the floor for the first night. So like she did this just for like me to not have to sleep on the floor one night. But as you can see, Beanie's already claimed it. But anyways, back to the the house, back to the heezy. Isn't it so nice? Like, obviously, it's just like this. <laughs> like, you can see everything by just doing a 360. But, like, it's just me here. So, like, this is massive to me. Like, this is tons of space for me. Like, I really, I, it's not that I don't need this space, but, like, I'm, anyway. So, what did I come here to show y'all? <laughs> Let me let me backtrack. I don't even remember what I came in here to show y'all. Okay, I was on the floor and I said, my mama got me this air mattress and she's so awesome. And I said, let me just get up and show y'all. What am I going to get up and show y'all? I have no clue. Anyways, I'm debating on whether I'm going to hang curtains. Those are curtain rods. It's actually not wide enough, I don't think. Actually, yes, it is. That one's wide enough for that, I think. But I'm going to get an even longer one because I want it to go like literally from here to there. And then I only want curtains there. Or no, you know what? I think of, what I'm going to do because I saw this on TikTok. I'm going to take down all these white ones and replace it with a fabric one so that it'll still have the same effect, but it'll be fabric instead of those. Anyways, I'm just babbling at this time. But look, I have recess lighting instead of boob lights. That's how you know. That's how you know I got money. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> That's how you know this apartment is updated, period. Okay. So, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and go get some food. You want to ride with me, Beanie? You want to ride with mommy to go get some food? Or you want to lay here? Are you comfortable here? Because there's no TV and no noise here. I'm just worried about you, honey. He hates the car, so I'm just going to go run and get food. I just hate to leave him here when, like, this is his first night here. He doesn't even know where he is and, like, the TV isn't even on. Usually I leave the TV on for him. So it's not just quiet, you know? Are you okay? <laughs> I hope you're okay. Okay, so yeah. I'm about to go run and get some food, okay, buddy? I'm gonna turn off literally all these lights because your girl, her written and went up. So everything's getting turned off except for this room. I'll leave the room on, okay? All right, let me go get some food. I think I'm going to Kane's. <sighs> I don't even have anywhere to sit. And honestly, all I had in my other apartment was bar stools. And I, I sold those bar stools because they were just pink. And I was like, mm, I don't want them anymore. So now I'm kind of like, where in the world am I going to eat? I need to go ahead and order a table like today. Like, I need to order a table. Okay, too many things are going through my head. Let me do one thing at a time. Let's go get some food. Yep, let's go get some food. <laughs> Okay, I had to move him here because he was screaming at me, but I'm unloading just a few groceries that I got. Let me see. What can y'all see if I sit you right here? Let's see if that's a good angle. I got these market side salads from Walmart. This is the Santa Fe version. I like these because they have the little tortilla chips in them. I literally was 
Okay, so remember, before I left, I said, okay, I'm just gonna go to, um, these are some hungry mans. Before I left, I was like, I'm just gonna go grab something. Like, I'm probably gonna go to Cane's and just come back, cause like, I'm really actually like super tired. But then, I got to Cane's, cause it's like, I left at like 10, 10 p.m. It's 10.56 now. So anyways, I drove over to Cane's. Talk about Cane's was packed, honey. Uh, this is some applesauce. Like, I don't know who I think I am, but like, I love applesauce. I think I'm like 50, I guess. I don't know. But I love applesauce. So I got a giant thing of applesauce. But yeah, Cane's was packed. So, I hate white bread, by the way, but it was 93 cents. So please. Yeah, we're getting white bread today. Um, yogurt. Jello, Pop Tart, that's what this is. So, anyways, I got to Kane. Absolutely packed. Drove a little bit down the way. They had like Whataburger, McDonald's, stuff like that. That was packed too. So, I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just going to go ahead and go to Walmart. Like, my initial plan was to just go to Walmart to get um, like a TV dinner, like the Hungry Man's or something, and call it a night for tonight. Or like something I could pop in the oven, but I don't even I don't even know if I pan, so that was like no. So I was gonna get a hungry man. But while I was in there, obviously I gotta pass up all the snack aisles and all that stuff. So I saw all this stuff and I'm like, you know what? I have nothing to do until 1 p.m. tomorrow when the movers get here. So to unload the U-Haul. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and get some snacks so that while I'm just sitting here playing on my phone or whatever the case might be, I got something to snack on at the least, you know? And then also while I was in there, I realized like I have no clue where my shower liner is. It's somewhere in one of these boxes or bins or whatever. But even before I moved, I was looking for it so I could already have it. Um, Cause I had already bought one. I had like two actually. I got them from Dollar Tree. I always get the Dollar Tree ones. But while I was in Walmart, I realized I don't have one. So I picked one up and I'm very upset because this was the cheapest one I had was $2.46. And I always buy the ones from Dollar Tree, which were they used to be a dollar. Now they're dollar twenty-five, but that's still better than $2.46. So I had to get that too. I got uh, a bunch of different types of ramen noodles, ramen noodles, whatever. Uh, because I just like to have those. <laughs> um randomly whenever i want to snack like while i'm watching movies and stuff i always want noodles i don't know what it is that's the ghetto baby in me i don't know so i went ahead and got some of those because they're really cheap anyway so i was like yeah well, i'm here but i'm gonna do my full grocery shopping on sunday i'm gonna do all of my actual grocery shopping like grocery grocery shopping to like cook meals on sunday and i'm gonna also meal prep one of those meals on sunday so hopefully whatever meal i meal prep on sunday will carry me through to at least like wednesday for my lunches at work because i have a real nine to five like i have to get there at eight okay so it's eight to five basically <laughs> i have to get there by 8 a.m they said 7 55 but baby if you're not paying for me listen I'll be up there at 8 a.m. Got to be there for 8 a.m. I get an hour lunch break between 12 and 1, and then I don't leave until 5 p.m. Not excited about that because I'm coming from a job where I pretty much made my own schedule. Um, and, yeah, I had to work eight hours, but literally I made my own schedule, and I wasn't just in my office all eight hours, so I'm just used to that. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah. Um... I'm about to eat one of those Hungry Man's. Probably gonna put these in the microwave too. This is gonna be my dessert. <laughs> and um, yeah, I have nothing in my apartment, so I'm just gonna chill. Maybe use my hotspot for my phone to watch a movie tonight, just to kind of break it in, you know. But me and Benny are chilling. He's actually not chilling. He's having great, great anxiety. But um, yeah. I'm so happy, but I'm just so sleepy. Y'all probably can't even tell I'm happy anymore. But I'm going to get back with y'all after I shower and stuff, okay? Let me go get cleaned up because I've been looking busted this whole vlog. Okay, guys, it's the next day. I feel like I'm doing terrible with this vlogging thing. But the movers just left. It was a whole ordeal switching out the washers and dryers. By the way, I have the apartment complex's washer and dryer in my dining room right now. 
and my wash and dryer hooked up. But let me show y'all what we got going so far. It looks really chaotic right now. I need y'all's advice on how to place this um, TV stand, by the way. Because it wouldn't quite fit on this wall because the wall isn't long. Like, yeah, it isn't long enough for this to fit. So right now it's like catty corner. And it just looks stupid to me. But this is the rest of the room that we're working with. Like, how would y'all arrange this room to where I could... Like, okay, well, uh, obviously, I could just mount my TV, probably, and then store the TV stand away. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. But boxes of random stuff and cleaning supplies and all that stuff. My sofa came, or my sofa got, you know, put back together. My lamp, my rug is here. Oh, let me show y'all Beanie's room so far. Beanie's room is the only room that's even halfway functional right now. It's just his little house. His food and his water bowl, his little painting. I don't know why I have light bulbs in here. <laughs> All beanie stuff. I'm not sure what I'm going to store on that top shelf. I guess things that like I have to keep, but like I don't use them frequently. I'll put up there because these ceilings are high and like I'm not able to reach that. This is random stuff. <laughs> This is my kitchen so far. I'm using my old towels. I can't wait to show y'all my apartment when it's finally like all the way put together. It's going to be so nice. But y'all, my washer and dryer both got damaged in the move. Look at this. I know that seems so minuscule, but whenever I keep up with my things, like I pay my money for things and I keep them nice. It makes me mad when stuff like that happens. But look, this is what happened in the dryer. And it's way more dramatic like in real life. Like even on camera, you can see it. Like, I'm going to try to take some, like, white nail polish to it or something just to, like, camouflage a little better. Because that, like, makes me mad. But anyways, let me show y'all my room. The bathroom hasn't really changed. I just kind of unloaded, um, like, like hygiene stuff, which is all in bags and stuff. <clears throat> but so far, this is my room. I have a lot of rearranging and putting away. And, you know, I got to make the bed and so on and so forth. But... They went ahead and put all my stuff in here. That's my paintings that I did myself. And yeah, like all my decor and stuff, I'm gonna put it all together. And yeah, my closet is full. Like, ugh, all this stuff has to get rearranged. I just kind of started stacking things for me. Um, But yeah, that's what we have so far, you guys. Let me sit on my bed and talk to y'all real quick. So that's what we have so far. I just ate a Pop-Tart. I'm gonna use the next couple hours to be just cleaning and putting things away and um... hi guys it is literally two almost 25 so 224 a.m <laughs> on the sunday before um you know i start work my work week at my new job and stuff and i'm just like i want my house together i just want my house together before i start working which i know it's like impossible to get your house together and like one day two days whatever it takes time to get settled and stuff but i'm gonna show y'all what i've got done so far obviously like the the mess and stuff that you see in here the things that just look out of place are out of place so please don't judge me um i'm just gonna show y'all what i got so far so let's start in my living room because that's the area that i think like would make the most sense like from what i got so far obviously this is the type of mess i'm talking about ignore that but from this little section here, you can kind of tell the vibe I'm going for, right? You can kind of get a feel for what I'm trying to do here. This is still bothering me because it's catty corner, but I think I'm just going to leave it like that and ignore the fact that it's catty corner. Like, there's nothing else I can do. I've thought of everything, and that's what, how it's going to stay. Um, y'all saw Beanie's room, right? If y'all didn't, let me hurry up and just record a little bit of it. This is my little son's room or whatever. <laughs> I'm so sleepy, y'all. That's all his stuff. I'm so short, I'll probably never use that shelf or that hook or that hook. But yeah, this is my little baby room. Cute. All right, literally so much chaos, so much chaos. Complete and total utter chaos. Complete and total utter chaos. Oh my gosh. Okay, but anyways, this is my kitchen um yeah this is basically my like what it's gonna stay like like i'm not gonna open every cabinet because y'all know what's in a freaking kitchen but yeah i got my little towels and that i don't really love that that's there but like whatever 
this apartment's for functionality and a little bit of cuteness. Um, yeah, I'm deciding to use this as my like storage pantry area versus using the cabinets because it's not like I have one large cabinet for that. Okay, so let me show you the bathroom real quick. I'm so sleepy. I really need to lay myself down because I got to go drop off that U-Haul in the morning. Please don't look at me. Don't look at me. But anyways, this is my, um, <laughs> this is my bathroom. Okay, this is not easy to do. This is my bathroom so far. Like, I just have my little, um, obviously, like, where I brush my teeth and all that stuff. Here's my makeup area because my last apartment I had a vanity, but now I have just extra countertop space. So there's that. I need to get a hamper basket for in here so I can throw my towels in there when I'm done with them, but I don't have that yet. So I'm hanging those until I'm ready to wash them. Um, this looks super unorganized, but I promise it's not. So it looks crazy because it's a lot of little random stuff, but like it all has a rhyme and a reason. Okay, my bedroom, y'all are gonna understand the vibe but like it's it's also kind of a wreck <laughs> so yeah this is my bedroom so far like those actually aren't hung they're just leaning on my um headboard right now because i was just trying to see like how they look which i like them so i'm gonna actually hang them up higher to bring your eyes up more you know um so anyways this is the vibe this is kind of the color scheme i might actually leave that basket there i just randomly sat there there but i think i'm gonna leave it there um that's going obviously all the chaos you know unpacking stuff is not staying like that <laughs> oh god don't look like that baby anyways this is i'm thinking i'm gonna take this out put it in my coat closet or just away in my little storage shed outside and use this shelf in that corner obviously when all this stuff is off of it and it's a blank shelf i'm gonna use it for all my school stuff so like Stuff like this will probably stay because it's a pencil holder with a little drawer. Let me just try to shut it off. Like, I'll keep stuff like that on it. Pencils, paper, notebooks, my laptop, stuff like that I'll probably keep on it. And then, you know, at the very top, it's just going to be decorations and maybe a mirror so that it could fit in with the vibe of my room. But that's what I'm thinking about doing with that little shelf because, like, I really don't have room for school stuff anywhere else let me turn the camera around and i i told myself like there's plenty of space and opportunity for me to add a desk in my room instead but when i get my dining room table i'm just gonna work at my dining room table i'm gonna make my dining room table very comfortable and it's just me so it's not like i'm gonna be getting anybody's way you know and then i thought let me just get a bar stool or two and then do my work at the bar or whatever but no that shelf thingy is going to be what I use for school and it's going to go in my room and it's going to be like paper, pens, my laptop. Um, I'll literally throw my backpack on the side of it so I know where my backpack is at all times, that kind of thing. Like it's just going to have to be there. Like obviously decor wise, I would rather it not be there, but at the same time, it's like I'm literally here to work and to go to school. So my room can't just be oh my god i want it to look like uh better homes and garden like no i have to use it for functionality too so that's what i'm thinking about doing with that i still need to buy faux grass for my patio um and the little deer netting or deer fencing it's like this really thin black fencing because today I went outside with Beanie to let him out to go pee and thank God my neighbor was upstairs just looking down just enjoying the weather or whatever because there was a snake that came out of the grass and he was like watch out look out for the snake this is my second day here and I'm the girl that's about to be bit by a snake so he's like watch out look out for the snake and I'm like snake he came downstairs inspected the snake see if it was venomous and all this stuff it was a very small snake um but he was like, yeah, we have snakes like out here. We really do. I've been here for a year. Around this time of year, we have a lot of snakes. And I'm just like, okay, I guess. I, I, uh, I think I made the wrong decision. But so I'm getting that deer fencing and deer netting for, or deer netting, whatever. It's like this garden net stuff. I'm going to probably insert a picture so y'all know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to get that for my patio. I'm going to like fence in the already fenced in patio with that netting and then I'm gonna add faux grass um 
basically in a way that the faux grass kind of like holds down the bottom border of the netting and i'm hoping that nothing as large as like a snake even the small ones <clears throat> i'm hoping that nothing can get through it i'm gonna do like two layers of it just to make sure because beanie goes outside all the time at night like literally it was like 1 a.m and he started crying he needed to go pee but i was like bro like do you not remember what we went through earlier so i let him out on my patio so i'm just like okay i need to get some grass for him and i need to go ahead and do that netting and stuff so that like one snakes won't get in and we have a lot of rabbits here too so i don't want him to go out there there's a bunny and the bunny freaks out and attacks him or something so anyways i'm talking a lot about netting in my patio <sighs> okay i just wanted to show y'all <laughs> that's it i just wanted to show y'all what i got done so far it is uh sunday at 2 33 a.m now I'm about to shower and lay down for a few hours and then I'm going to get up at 7 a.m. and go drop off the U-Haul and Uber back here. And then after that, I think I'm going to get some breakfast, probably from McDonald's, just to do something quick. So yeah, I'll see y'all in the morning when I go drop off the U-Haul. Hold on, let me turn on the light so y'all can see me. And I promise this is going to be the last day that y'all see me on this camera looking busted up like this. I've just been moving, so y'all got to forgive me for these past couple of videos where I'm just looking a little not put together, a little disheveled. Okay, so I have to tell y'all a story real quick because I just had a traumatic U-Haul experience. Um, let me just get right into it. Basically... I have never used U-Haul, I mean U-Haul. I've never used Uber before. Did I say I had a traumatic U-Haul experience? I had a traumatic Uber experience. I've never used Uber before because one, everywhere I go, I drive myself there so that I am in control of when I go and when I come and like if I need to quickly, you know, just do what I need to do, plans change. I don't gotta consult other people or order a ride or say, hey, could you drop me off? I just drive everywhere myself. And then if I was to travel like via plane, wherever I went, if I was there for more than a couple of days, I'm getting a rental. I'm not Ubering everywhere, so I've never used an Uber. So today was my first time using Uber because I had to go, <laughs> hiccups and burps and everything else, excuse me. Um, I had to go drop off my U-Haul because it's empty, everything's unloaded into my house and I'm just unpacking now. And today's the day I need to turn it in. So I go to freaking U-Haul and I'm like, okay, let me, while I'm still in the truck in safety, cause I had to drop it off in like a downtown ish type of area in this new place where I don't know anybody, you know? So I am like, let me just stay in my U-Haul right now and order everything. I already had the app on my phone cause I downloaded it at home. I already put in my addresses cause I did that at home. So all I have to do is click, click pay whenever it came time to do that. So I was like, let me go ahead and do that. And then I'll have like 15 minutes before, um, you know the uber gets here that was my plan anyways and that's originally how it was going the ride was like oh it's 14 15 minutes away and i'm like great okay so let me go ahead and pay and then i'm gonna get out and go do the self uh return for u-haul or whatever nothing went as planned nothing time wise went as planned so okay so i'm getting uh that together i start to click pay i put in my debit card information and it's like uh payment method not available so i put it in again because i'm like maybe i messed up i don't see where i messed up let me do it again payment method not available i did again payment method not available so i was like maybe it's just my card like i've been spending a lot of money maybe i did something wrong maybe they locked my account i used my credit card same situation i used my cash up card same situation those are my three payment methods that i have typically um on hand so i'm just like i don't know what's going on so whatever so i click all the way back in the app and basically it just was not accepting any personal uh visa credit or debit cards period like it just wasn't your only options was venmo paypal or uh a gift card an uber gift card so i was like okay i don't have venmo or paypal because i don't just be doing a lot of like money transactions and stuff so i'm just like stressed like okay i have to get a gift card how can i get an e-gift card because clearly i'm nowhere near anywhere that i know i can buy an uber gift card 
go to google.com thankfully they thought of everything and they had uh, a very quick easy way to buy an uber gift card usually when before i purchase things online i'm reading through everything i'm making sure everything's right but in this situation i just was like okay this says it's uber.com this says purchase e-gift card here let me hurry up and do this because i'm like trying to turn my truck in on time i'm trying to make sure i get a ride I was feeling a bit rushed, even though like maybe there wasn't really a rush. Like I still had an hour between the time that like I needed to know that like I dropped off my U-Haul. But I personally was feeling rushed and anxious just because things weren't going right and I didn't want to be stranded. Like immediately my brain went to like anxious like mode saying, oh my gosh, you're going to be stranded. So I calmed down. I get the gift card. I didn't read a single thing. It's like, we're going to email you the gift card. I get the email saying, okay, you ordered it. I get the email saying, okay, we're about to send it. To the person you sent it to which was me and then i got the email with the actual gift card that between the time that i went to uber.com to order it and actually getting the gift card code it was about eight to ten minutes so it was a quick process but still i wasn't expecting to have to do that that's eight to ten minutes that like originally i was like thinking i'd be in the car by now like going home and so um get the gift card i load it on my uber account i go ahead and order the uber because i'm thinking this next ride that comes available is going to be another 15 minute wait type thing tell me why it was a four minute uh wait but i had already ordered the ride <laughs> it was a four minute wait so i was like okay i have four minutes to turn in this u-haul and like i said that was a long tedious process i don't know if i actually started saying that but i tried to load I tried to log into my U-Haul account to go ahead and just register the little key and turn it in. Tell me why it wouldn't work every time I turn, every time I logged into U-Haul and said session timed out. Like I'm literally as soon as I click log in with my login information, session timed out. So I'm just like, oh my god. So I walk around the building looking for help. The building's closed up, locked up, and um, I finally find a sign that says like self return and had a QR code on it. So I did that, clicked that, tried to start the process of doing it as a guest completed that and then hurried up went to the front of the u-haul building so i didn't miss my ride because i know that ubers will leave like really quickly and you still have to pay and i was like i'm not paying another 25 dollars for a ride because yes it was 25 dollars 24.99 technically but um yeah it was 25 dollars to go eight miles please i'll never be doing that again but um so the you the here's the other crazy part the uber gets there and um i noticed the uber come and drive right past me and i'm just like what's going on like what's going on you know <laughs> and then he's like stop in the middle of the road he calls me he's like hey is this you at the hotel i'm like no i'm across the street at the u-haul like i put these details in the actual like pickup directions and all that stuff but i'm assuming because he was driving he probably didn't read it but um yeah, he's like, where are you at? I'm outside the hotel. And I'm like, I'm across the street at the U-Haul. He's still in the middle of the road, just sits there and hangs up. And I'm just like, okay. So, like, does he expect me to, like, just run to him? Lo and behold, this man did not budge. Like, I waited probably a good 20 seconds, which is a long time to just wait and see if someone's going to move their vehicle, you know, out of the middle of the road. Did not budge. So, I was like, okay, let me just wait for the street to be safe. I'm going to run to this Toyota and jump in the back of it. And it's this old, like, old toyota corolla that's a whole nother story but it wasn't like filthy but it also wasn't like the cleanest car i've ever been in you know so i was kind of like mm. <laughs> but uh yeah i'm jumping in this uh uber in the middle of the road i get in i'm saying just trying to be calm and relaxed i'm like hey how are you doing good morning because you know i'm southern so we speak whenever we are in someone's presence otherwise you're considered like rude or whatever so i'm like hey how you doing good morning and you know stuff like that and he does not respond and he's like uh he said something to me like uh put on your seatbelt or something like that <laughs> and he sounded foreign like he sounded like he had a caribbean accent so i was like okay maybe he doesn't like maybe speaking like that is like inappropriate or something for him i don't know didn't speak the whole ride there nothing i just looked out the window and i was like all right cool whatever we get to my um apartment complex of course we have a gate so I had to press my key fob, but he's driving so fast the whole way, all the way up to the gate. The gate didn't open in two seconds. Like I clicked my button thinking he's going to slow down. The gate didn't just swing open in two seconds. So he's like, okay, well, we, we got to turn around. I'm like, no, just hold on, hold on. I didn't press the button. The gate's going to open. You're not turning around nowhere and going nowhere with me, sir. This is where you need to drop me off at. And so he like 
uh, adjusted his car back to, you know, being ready to go through the gate. And I'm just like, what the heck is going on? Like, this is really just dangerous and scary. This is not cute. This is not my vibe. I like smooth, bougie, fabulous experiences, experiences, experiences. And this was very much ghetto, very much raunchy. Okay, I don't really like it. I don't want to do it again unless I don't, unless I have to. I don't want to do it again. So we get to my place. He basically passes my place again. I'm like, please just drop me off here. He stopped the car. I get out. As soon as I close the door, he's gone. I mean, gone. I said, click. He said, boop. And I said, all right. This was crazy and expensive for no reason. This was not fabulous. And I paid $25 for a 16 minute ride. It could have been a better, it could have been a better experience, but here's the kicker. Hold on, it doesn't end there. <laughs> when I got home, tell me why I turned the corner to my door and there's this big old salamander on the ground, like literally one of those like salamander things with ears and like feet and nails and stuff like you see them at the freaking aquarium, like look real prehistoric. It was like this long and probably like this wide, okay? huge by my door and as soon as I turn the corner I go oh my gosh and I guess I scared it because it started sputtering and all you heard was Ugh, disgusting and I don't actually know where it went but I saw it go like underneath this little thing that I don't know how to explain it but it went underneath something that's like by my door so I'm very scared to even open my front door now and not to mention we got big at big salamanders we got that and we got snakes because I decided to tell you this story because it is 10 28 a.m and i have only slept a few hours and like all of this has happened within the past like i'd say 12 hours like all of these experiences have happened in the past 12 hours so i'm just like what is going on is it a full moon i don't know <sighs> but i'm about to get myself together a little bit not very much i'm just changing out of t-shirt and sweats i'm gonna put on like jeans and like a decent top because i'm gonna go out today and actually buy some stuff for my house and hopefully be back in here um, by like one, so. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here, but I just wanna show you guys that I prepped a meal for my lunches this week. I did some rice, I did some brisket in the oven, and I fried up some green beans. I like mine fried, um, not smothered, which, you know, I don't use a ton of oil. They These were the frozen green beans, so they kinda just fried themselves. Anyway, so this is what I got. Oh my gosh, nine to five life, I need lunches. Oh yeah, I ran out of green beans back there, but by Friday I will make more green beans, so. Yummy yum, shout out to me. Okay y'all, meals prepped, they're going in the fridge. I'm just so excited about this because this means that I won't have to go out to eat a bunch whenever um, I get my little hour lunch break. Cause even though I have an hour lunch break, I live in the city, so that hour <laughs> lunch break would be mostly driving. Uh-oh. There you go. And I'll stick this here. Okay, no, that's too close to the light. I don't like that that's, like, close to the light. Okay, there we go. Which I know the light's gonna go off. <laughs> but, yeah, I need to go grocery shopping for real, for real. All I got is, like, snacks. But, yeah. Meals prepped. Oh, in my containers that I got on sale from Target. I'm such an adult. Me, 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 me.